bookbinders. You might think they went the way of the blacksmith and telegraph operator, but there's still a need for them in this digital paperless world of ours. In fact, you might say the digital age has elevated bookbinding from merely a necessity to an art form. Next, we're going to visit Paper Dragon Books in Brooklyn to see why. In this ephemeral world of email, ebooks, and texting, there is a comfort knowing the printed word, meaning words printed on actual paper, is still cherished. Paper Dragon Books, owned by Gavin Dovey, is such a place. A classic bookbinder who uses traditional hand techniques while continually forwarding bookbinding as an art form. People will bring me copy, either as you know, a graphic design project, or they could be repairs to old books. They could be wedding albums, they could be wedding guest books, they could be blank books. And typically, you'll start with sections. These are folds of paper folded inside each other. They're sewn through the middle, one on top of the other. They are backed, which means the spine is glued up, the edges are trimmed. It's forwarded, meaning that it has to be rounded and backed. The covering material prepared and it's covered, corners done, head caps, Bob's your uncle, you have a book. <laughs> Work is done on large tables filled with classic old world tools, while raw material like goat skin, gold leaf, and of course parchment wait to the side to be made into something unforgettable. And clients range from storied institutions like the Pierpont Morgan Library to the Weekend Book Collector. How long does it take to do a book? Two days, two weeks or two years. Who knows? I mean, it depends on wow. you know, the kind of work that you have done. I can make a case finding in two hours, or I could agonize over designing some really complicated, highly skilled, labor-intensive uh, book or box. Which is where Gavin's unique talents really come out. The work that I do, I, my palette is different types of leather. So I'm piecing together artwork made out of uh, different pieces of goat skin which I have to shave down. So it's kind of like painting but just using bits of leather to do it. And uh, I've always been pushing myself to, to try and learn as much new things as I can to try and incorporate some, some new t technique that I want to get hold of or get, get to grips with. And how does Gavin feel about the future of bookbinding as the world embarks on the digital age? As long as there's a market for collecting, as long as things are collectible, and as long as people have that or need that tangible connection with, that they hold in their hand, they can see and they can use and they can open, you know, and touch and feel the paper. To me, that's kind of like asking why anyone would, would have art when we have, you know, photography or, or the computers or, you know. Paper Dragon Books is open by appointment only. Gavin also offers bookbinding classes on occasion and has even taught at the Smithsonian Institution. Our next spot is in the business of making illusions. To educate, Kodiak Studios makes life-size figurines for museums around the world. And you're going to be astonished at just how real they can be. Step into a local historical society, roadside attraction, or museum, and you've seen them. Those life-size human figurines depicting some kind of historical event. Over the years, many institutions have stepped up their game, not merely using store display mannequins dressed in period costumes, but putting together installations that often border on the obsessive when it comes to accuracy. This is where Kodiak Studios in Brooklyn comes in. They are one of just a handful of artisans creating what can only be called one-of-a-kind works of art. Everything and anything you can possibly imagine from astronauts, cowboys and Indians, portraits of uh, historical people, presidents, for 
a whole gamut of uh, museums all over the country. Owner Alex Tisch and his small team of artisans create what he calls hyper-realism exhibit figures. Alex, I am absolutely astounded at how real these things look like. I mean, it looks like a stuffed human being. Well, thanks so much. What, how many hours do you think you put into something like this? Ooh, probably uh, a good two, three weeks. Yeah, you even have the dirt under the fingernails on these things. Attention to detail is what's uh, required. I always consider my pieces to be it's as if they were the cherry on the cake. Once the environment is built, my figures cozy up to whatever commercial or historical facet they're trying to portray, and they seal the deal on telling the story. His figures are so detailed and well thought out, they sometimes startle museum goers. Tiny details like pores on the skin and skin tones that fluctuate over the entire figure. Alex says all this detail is necessary. Human beings have a tremendous emotional reaction if there are human eyes that are looking back at them. They just feel drawn in, they empathize. Kodiak Studios achieves such stunning detail through the process of life casting, which is literally making a mold out of a human being. The great values in that is that you have their posture, their gesture, their age, their, their background comes through in the whole casting process. Once a model is positioned in the desired pose, plaster medical bandages are wrapped around them in three separate sections. After they dry, the molds are carefully broken off the model. Next, they are reassembled back together and a lightweight composite material is injected into the mold. <laughs> the material hardens, the mold is broken off, and a newly created figure is revealed. It is then sanded, painted, clothed, and additional details like hair and glass eyes are added to complete the piece. Kodiak's work has been included in exhibits at the Museum of Natural History in New York City, the Green Bay Packers Hall of Fame, California Trails Museum, and the Miami Metro Zoo. Alex says the reaction his figures sometimes cause is worth all the hard work. Really a lot of fun when you can produce work for someone and you send them to tears or they just they hug you you don't really get that from a lot of a lot of businesses Kodiak Studios is not open to the public but Alex is more than happy to answer questions via his website which also has several images of his works